Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Quake 2. In this episode we're probably going to be finishing up this section of the game right here. Die. Episode 1 was a little bit jerky and I'm not entirely sure why. Hopefully I'll be able to get that fixed. But I certainly don't want it to look like... I mean, visually it looked good, but... Look how much more beautiful the bullet hitting enemies is and the explosion when they die is. It looks so much better. Now, if you remember here, we come across the, this bridge here, lowered, when we hit that switch over there. So now we can go this way. We're gonna start my, start my timer. Let's go around here. And kill this guy. Yeah, this is the end of level... The first section of levels in the game. Dead. We completed this section of the game. We're gonna go down here, though. There's some items down here. I don't remember exactly what. Also, episode one was a little bit dark, and I'm not entirely sure why. See if I can't get that fixed too. Oh, uh, there we go. Secret area. Dead. Dead. The level design in Quake 2 is not linear. You'll be going back and forth across levels quite a bit. I kind of like that, although it does mean that there will be times when you will be going across what amounts to a barren landscape because there will be no enemies there. Go here. For those that don't know, we're using the KM Quake 2 source port to play this game. So if it looks better than you remember, that is why. And it does improve the game in a number of ways. First off, it... Oh man, I missed him. Cutscene. Okay, we're going to proceed to the bunker area and destroy Strong Logistical Train in, in uh, part two and... Dead. Let's check the computer. Find entrance to supply station. We can come up here and hop up here and get that. Yeah, episode one was kind of jittery, not entirely sure why. We don't see too many of this particular enemy, but notice how good the laser looks, especially in comparison to the original game, if you have played it. The laser in the original game doesn't look anywhere near that good. It's kind of a nice touch and a nice upgrade to this. Or you could think that it stands out like a sore thumb in comparison to the rest of the game. But there's really nothing, I mean, there's really only so much you can do with the old sprites like this without completely, with old polygons like this without completely replacing them, and I really like what this uh, engine does for Quake 2. I think all the improvements for it look really sharp. Die. Well, if you look up there, there's a skybox, which was, I believe, new to the outdoor areas in Quake 2, which are numerous. 
so they really wanted to show off their ability to insert skyboxes into their game. And they did. Let's see if we can't get that health, shall we? Okay, that's a bit better. Get some grenades. I don't use grenades very often when I play this game. Let's press that. Press that. Come on down. Calm down. There we go. Hopefully this video won't be as jittery as episode 1. I don't know why episode 1 was so jittery, but it was kind of annoying. Oh, I can get this. Jump over here. Now we'll need to go back up. Doors opened elsewhere. Ah, here we go. Let's go this way. These guys are easy. They just charge at you. Oh, that's another improvement is the shadows look really, really good on this. So much better than the original game. I think that door's glitching out. What do you think? Hey, door, are you glitching out? None of my concern. As I remember, we don't run into many of those laser-firing guys until later on in the game. Let's switch to the shotgun. No, switch to the shotgun. Ow! Ow! Yeah, this doesn't have a very fast rate of fire. You kind of have to get used to it, but... I mean, that's more realistic for a shotgun, is it not? is the button. I didn't give you permission to live. Shot him to shit. Let's go down here. Secret area. Alright. You know, dude, you... You shall, probably should have heard me jumping like that. Come on, Berserker. That's what that's what those guys are called. They're called Berserkers. get our armor. And let's go here and... Die. Who the fuck was shooting at me? Hopefully this will be less jittery. I mean, it says it's recording it at a solid 30, 30 frames per second, so it should be good. They're still there, good. Alright, that should have gotten both of them. It did, oh, awesome. He did. But look how much. But look, look at the light the lava gives off. It's so much prettier than the original game. And uh, static effects will look better. Lighting will look better. Oh yes.
This is gonna hurt. But there should be some health here, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Shit. If there's a way to get down here from here without hurting yourself, I'm not aware of what it is. Now this particular gun has a little bit of warm-up time, so you got to be aware of that when you're using it on enemies. I'll show what I'll show you what I mean on next enemy that I find. See how it warms up to get up to full speed, and be forewarned: this thing eats through ammo even faster than the chain gun on Doom. Forty-five health, that's good. Come on, dude. But yeah, underwater, the water has movement to it, which is new, to, which is thanks to the KM Quake 2 source port. And when you're underwater, it has reflections off of walls. You see that? That's also new to the KM Quake 2 source port. So it adds a, lo a lot of nice little touches on top of making it so that your game is... Uh, you're able to run it in HD resolutions, which is always nice. Um, runs it in widescreen instead of full screen, without doing some kind of fake widescreen that would result in it looking like stretched. This is good looking widescreen. Ah, what am I getting shot from? Die, motherfucker. I thought I told you to die. And the, the effects of bullets hitting enemies is so much better looking than the original. But one of the things that they added in Quake 2 was enemies now show, like, visible damage. That They get damaged worse the more you shoot them. And that is a really nice touch. I really like that about this game. You can get him with the full force of the shotgun if you can run right up to his face and then pull the trigger on your shotgun. And I figured there would be something hiding around that corner and there wasn't. As I remember, this is the way you're not supposed to go down here. Yeah. Because you need power. That This section of the base has zero power to it. And Oh, th this game does have a sequel. It's not Quake 3. Quake 3 is its own game. That's uh, Quake 3 Arena. And it's all online deathmatch, basically. And it's some of the finest deathmatch you will ever play. It's, it's deathmatch perfected. And it's a lot of fun, but Quake 4 from Raven Software, who is a very, very talented company, by the way, actually did the sequel to this game, and it's a very good one. I would recommend it. It's a very good sequel. I would recommend playing it. It's nowhere near as good as Quake 2. So if you think you're going to get something on the level of awesome as this game and, and the intensity is going to be at the same level... Don't go into it thinking that, because you're just going to be sorely disappointed in a decent shooter. 
and that's what Quake 2, Quake 4 gives you, a decent shooter. Although, if you want to get the Xbox ver Xbox 360 version of Quake 4, it comes with Quake 2. So keep that in mind, depending if you're looking, if you can't get, if you don't have a good enough PC to run the game, which it doesn't take that great of a PC anyway, because it runs on the Doom 3 engine. It tech four, I want to say. Can't go that way. And all of the achievements in Quake 2 can in Quake 2 for that game. And yes, it does have full achievements. They can all be gotten just by beating the story. Even if you beat it on like normal difficulty. So it getting all the achievements in that game is not that difficult. Shit, I'm almost dead. Thank God for that. Fuck off, dude. Nothing in there? Okay. But I wanted to go com come kill these enemies anyway. Yeah, Quake 4, good game. Not as good as this. I would recommend the PC version if you have a PC that can run it. But the, P the Xbox version does come with Quake, t Quake 2. And if you're an achievement whore, the, the achievements on Quake 2 are very, very easy to get. You can just get it by beating the fucking game. I got, that's the only one that I've 100% because I don't give a shit about achievements. So, it has, I mean, it holds no special interest to me, getting achievements. Here's the enemy supply train that we're supposed to destroy. And we have two power cubes, let's see. Primary objective completed. Collect the four power cubes to restore power to the warehouse. We gotta do that. Also, these rails are shut down, so you can climb on them. You can crawl on them now. If you crawl on these rails before they're shut down, they will zap you and kill you. Get one more. Get a couple armor shards. And come this way. You missed me, dude. You suck. Let's climb up here. Where are you? Uh, have you guys gotten the chance to watch my videos? I posted a link in the episode of Quake 1 to my reviews of Resident Evil 4 and the original Doom. The, the, I played the PlayStation 3 version of that, which is pretty much a spot-on port. The only difference between it and the, orig the uh, PC version is you can change weapons faster than the PC version, which, by the way, will keep you alive. And so take that in, into consideration when considering which version of Quake 4 to buy. Because the same deal is true here. Huh, 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 huh. 
Haha, <laughs> you can't get me. It's kind of dark in here. Dead. You know what? I could use that. I could use that ammo. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm all ammoed up. Let's go, 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 go. In the words of Dale Gribble, let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to shotgun some guys in the face. I haven't done that in minutes. Ah, oh, would you die already? I'm surprised that didn't hurt me. The Quake 4 does have a couple guns that are, and some enemy types and whatnot that are not in this version of it. So that's always cool. And one of them is called like a dark matter gun or a black hole gun or something, and that's a really cool gun. Of course, you, uh, the unfortunate thing about Quake 4 is that they revealed the big plot twist halfway through the game in the fucking trailers. Why did you do that, Raven? I will never understand that. Like, if, if we hadn't known going in, it would have been a much bigger deal what happens to Matthew Kane in that game. But because we were told, there's no surprise. I love the way blood just sp sputters on the ground like that. Dead. Yes. More shoddy ammo. And this should put us right back out here, yes. Now we're going to retread through another level and go back to the power station. Let's do that. We'll go over here. Oh, yeah, anyway, um, my reviews of Doom and Resident Evil 4 my history as a gamer video proceed to the warehouse my top 10 games of the seventh generation of consoles let's power this bitch up there we go let there be light that was a uh, that was god god said that <laughs> um my top 10 of the seventh generation, which I poured everything I had into that video, so I really hope that that's a good video. I really hope my passion comes through, because I had a lot of fun making that video, and I think it's one of my, I think it's probably my best work in all the videos that I have edited so far. I think it's a great one, and I absolutely enjoyed making it. Restore power to the warehouse. I knew this was back here, that's why I came back here. I have to call it pretty soon. Let's 
Stop! God damn. But yeah, you see how big these environments are that you fight in Quake 2? I love that about this game. Got one. Jesus, there's three of them. They kicked my ass. Holy shit. You made the death sound. Die. Jesus. I thought I killed you. Now I need to go back to the entrance to the level. And get some fucking health. Armor's nice. There, this is what I need. Health. Health. Why do I hear one running? Well, that's a little bit of health. That's better. Hopefully I'll find more health later on in the level. Got him. Nothing up there? Boo. Come on. Damn. Come on. Let's go. Oh, sweet. Thank God he is dead. Nothing over there. them without alerting them. Die. I've had enough sh I've had enough of your shit today. And proceed to the detention center. Only got one secret. I wish shooters today had lengthy campaigns like Quake 2 does. Watch this. It's gonna drop it. And leave a present behind. Boom! Get that. Hop up here and get that. Just remember, there's two enemies out here. I think. 
Yep. Oh, yeah, there's one of these guys. I will be having none of your shit today. I thought I picked that up. I guess not. Let's go this way. Okay, now, boss time. He can launch rockets at you, so be extremely cautious. Got him. And you have to stay hidden from him and make sure he doesn't hit you with his rockets because he will kill you very, very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. All of you die. Die! Oh, God, I hate you guys. That's one. I think that's one of the most annoying enemies in this game. Because the, the, they stick you with their tongue, and they don't let go until you, like, make them let go. And they just constantly, continuously fucking damage you. It's a pain in the ass. Just creep forward and go to this side. Through here. Get that and that. Could always use more health. And here's the exit. I'm going to stop here and we'll start the next one with the intro cutscene to the next level. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Quake 2. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.